Today we're doing a trailer breakdown of Fraud by Peter Turner. Stay tuned. Hey guys, my name's Alan, and if this is your first time on the channel, I'm a full-time professional magician, and I give my tips, tricks, tutorials, and uh, trailer breakdowns just like this one. So if that sounds neat to you, hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon, that way you don't miss a single video. If this is your first time on the channel, you may be wondering what trailer breakdowns are. In fact, this is the first video using the new format. I used to call these hot takes. You may know these, uh, I've done quite a few. I've done ones on Stackwatch and Picasso Pro app and a number of others. And uh, I realized that uh, the way that they were formatted, people were confusing them with reviews. These are not reviews, these are just reactions, my personal reactions, being a professional magician, to the trailer and the marketing material that's out on a new product. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at Fraud by Peter Turner. Let me ask you a question. What's one of the most unavoidable things in this life? The answer's numbers. No matter where you look, numbers are everywhere. From the size of the smallest atom to the deepest, darkest, vast depths of space and time, everything is relatable to numbers. So it made logical sense to create a series of routines using just that. And then a one. Yes. Think about what would happen if I got this last digit. It'd prove that if I really wanted to, I could, you know, take your bank card, go to a bank, get into all your private stuff. Okay, so my initial impression is that this is kind of like, I've seen like the gray elephant in Denmark cards that you get, but they're always like that cheap cardboardy with that's obviously like play money card. I'm wondering if this is that, but just made it with nicer materials. Let's take a look. And then a one. Yes. Think about what would happen if I got this last digit. It'd prove that if I really wanted to, I could, you know, take your bank card, go to a bank, get into all your private stuff. 4916. How cool is that? Very cool, Pete. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. So let's talk. Okay, so yeah, pin code uh, divination is is really cool. It's one of those privately held things. It's very secure. It's a, it's a a natural choice for wanting to um, do something mentalism wise. I always kind of shied away from them though. Um, I, there's lots of ways to do them, and um, you know, I I have the ability, and I've I've played with the idea of doing one. One reason I've always been hesitant, just as a professional, is that, um, you know, I don't even know what the process is for changing your pen code. And if you're doing like a video like this, you gotta be real comfortable with, uh, you know, being able to change your pen code or something, because it's like, oh, I don't know, I don't want people to know what my pen code is, and you're putting it online for lots of people. Who, maybe somebody recognizes that person, goes into their Facebook, finds their name, and, um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I always felt like that was something that was, um, just a little bit too dangerous to play with. And there's a lot of liability issues that come up from that too. It's just a realm I've never played in. I'm sure that it works great and that lots of people enjoy using pin code divinations. Peter uses them to great effect. I know a lot of other mentalists do too. For me, I've always been reserved on, on wanting to do those for the reasons I just mentioned. Let's continue things that you can achieve using this little bad boy. Well, on the front of this, there's a number and you can influence your participants to think of exactly the number that you want. You can guess a spectator's pin code safely. You can get a group of people to think of a number and reveal it. You can psychologically force images, playing cards, words, in fact, whatever you want. You can get your spectator to read your mind. In fact, you could even get your spectator to create a version of themselves in an alternative universe and think of a random four digit number and somehow it's on this bank card. You can use this bank card as a divination tool to allow somebody to freely think of a number and then use the card to be able to guess the exact number that they're thinking of. This pack's small, it plays big, and I'll tell you what, you don't want to leave home without it. Okay, so, uh yeah, interesting. Yeah, so that's a fine way to do it too. Make up a guest up number. Sure, that, that works. It doesn't have quite the impact, you know, that if you were guests, the real pin code. But yes, you could definitely do that. Um, there's some nice product placement in there. I don't know if you saw the wallet, but there's some nice product placement. Wink, wink. Um, yeah, you know, so it looks it looks pretty neat. It looks like it's it's was 
put in the, originally it was in the How to Read Minds package, and now they're offering it separately um, because of the popularity of it, which is great. Um, I don't have the How to Read Minds uh, package. Um, uh, never felt like I needed to go buy that. I already have um, a wealth of uh, mentalism material that I use in my shows. But um, yeah, so if they're reacting to somebody going, hey, yeah, we really like this. Can we get this without having to buy the whole kit? Might be kind of cool. The card, I'll say also, the card looks does look pretty authentic. Uh, that's something else to talk about in the marketing material is how they were turned down by three manufacturers. And, you know, I, I you read the stuff, you're like, oh, man, this is so much hype and everything, you know. But, um, yeah, I, I could see that. I could see some people going, mm, I don't really feel comfortable making that. Um, but it looks like a real bank card. That's pretty cool. The only thing it's missing is it doesn't have your name stamped in it. And I wonder if there's a way to do that. Uh, let's see if they answer that question in this video. If there's a way to get your name stamped into the card. No! <laughs> you gotta go. oh. How did I make it, right? <laughs> I didn't make no. you say it. You did it. Wait. But look, you can take that out. Please check it, feel it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Zero nine zero one two eight. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 You didn't do the regular person thing of going for the spade, did you? That's a yes. But that doesn't tell me which one. What were the playing cards that you thought of? Three. Three of spades. You beat me this time, Mark. I won't even close. I will bang on. cool um you know i'm not really sure they're saying hey even uses the other spectators bank card and all that i'm not really sure how you how maybe there's some routines included that allow you to do that you know uh, or show you ways that you can use their card instead of the numbers that are on your card but i have to imagine that the numbers that are printed on the card i haven't taken that deep of a look at it but i imagine that they are set up in a way that allows you to do some kinds of uh, forces or something like that um it looks neat. I mean, for you know, for twenty bucks, it might be something worth to pick up. You know, the thing is, is I, I, I might pick that up. I might pick it up, and I might just pick it up because it's nice to be able to carry around mentalism, um, or magic that you can just put in your wallet. That's always nice. I mean, that's the dream, right? Packs flat, plays big. Um, that might. I, I don't know. It's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. Twenty dollars doesn't seem that uh, that high of a price for uh, an actual physical thing and a. Um, and our tutorial video on how to use it. So I, ah, I might pick this up. It looks pretty cool. I'll, let's continue with the rest of the trailer. And it might just be a lot of B-roll, which tends to be with Illusionist and Theory 11. But let's go ahead and watch. If it is, I'll just cut this part. Yeah, so I was right. It was just a lot of B-roll, so I cut. Um, yeah, so... It looks like... I'm reading, I'm reading the, the material here, and it says that uh, you'll get one of those special cards with the thing, the How to Read Minds Bank, the HTRM Bank, which is just cute, you know. Um, the Binary Principle, the 37 Force, the 1089 Force, Reverse Pinco Divinations. Uh, looks cool, right? I, you know, th those are all things you don't need the card for, honestly. Um, those are all things that you can do uh, definitely without the card, but having an actual realistic gimmick uh, that that uh, allows you to do some of these things or to execute these things in a more natural way that yeah, might be worth it looks cool I'm I'm not opposed to it I think that it might be pretty useful just to have put in your you know put in your wallet and carry around with you and that way you have an excuse or a reason to be able to go into these types of forces that's always the hard thing with with number forces and that kind of stuff is well how do you naturally get to that how do you naturally get to why are we using the numbers and why are we reversing these numbers and adding these together and doing this and why am I thinking of a two digit number and then like, but both odd and all these, you know, having, if, if, if the routines allow you to use or to get into those types of routines, the card allows you to get into those routines in a natural way, 
bad, then then that might be worth it, you know, because those are those forces are really good. I mean, them the effects by themselves are really good. It's just always awkward. How do you get into talking about numbers? So uh, this might be something that I might pick up. Looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? Should I pick this one up? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you'd like to uh, get a review on this, uh, also let me know that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy these guys over here too. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.